Hello, friends. Welcome to this week's forecast. My name is Aura. I am your crypto astrologer. I'm the crypto prophet. Welcome. And I have two words for you for what happened this week. Volcano bonds. Volcano bonds. What are volcano bonds? Bo volcano bonds are the bonds that were issued, that are the El Salvador government announced that they would be issuing bonds called volcano bonds that will be backed by Bitcoin and Bitcoin specifically and any chain potentially that is built on Bitcoin, they have created regulation to make it safer for companies to operate in within their government framework and their government jurisdiction. So this has been quite bullish for the price of Bitcoin uh, here. Look, take a look at this. Remember I told you we'd have a New Year's pop? I said this two weeks ago. Look at that. That's a pretty nice pop. And just the volcano bonds alone gave us a really good move. That move in the bright yellow, green box was just on the volcano bonds news, just after the volcano bonds news came out. So I don't know if you heard about it, but the volcano bonds are a big deal. And this is something that um, will, I mean, El Salvador has been a leader in the world of Bitcoin, in the world of crypto. And you're going to see a few other countries become very, very successful doing the same thing. There are several countries I'm feeling in Africa and South America who are going to do something similar to this volcano bonds idea. But El Salvador, the leader and will be a very big winner in the coming uh, crypto changes in the com current coming change. El Salvador will be a very big winner in the coming changes in the financial atmosphere that will lead us all into crypto. So it's going to be very good for El Salvador in the long term. However, they do have some storms to weather. We are not out of the woods on crypto. We still have a lot of really volatile moves to come. Uh, in 2023, we're going to see a lot of volatility this week. Uh, Bitcoin could have a wavy week. We could have some wavy moves, uh, on the price action of Bitcoin. So I'm probably not going to be doing much in the way of trading this week. I swing trade. I do not day trade. I think day trading is for gamblers. So not that you can't make money day trading. Some people do, but you really, it's very, very difficult in Bitcoin and crypto because they do all kinds of things that break the technical analysis patterns. So I swing trade when I see big up moves coming uh, based on the astrology with Bitcoin and I see big down moves coming in Bitcoin. So December 14th, I saw that we would have a big drop in Bitcoin, took out a short position. Yes, we did have a big drop in Bitcoin. I saw on January 1st that Bitcoin was going to start to move up. Guess what? It moved up quite a lot since January 1st. So I took out some long positions. I actually traded a couple of cryptocurrencies, uh, which have done, did very well. So that is my philosophy. And that is what I focus on for my members is swing trading, how to not miss the profit zones that are coming and to be prepared so that you can scoop prices back up when they come down low again. And that way you're not just trapped in your crypto for years and years, but you're actually able to give yourself a paycheck. That is my goal. But let's look at what's going on with the astrology this week, because Bitcoin and the volcano bonds have been pretty exciting, but we also have astrology that affects us. So the astrology affecting Bitcoin is one thing, and it is quite another thing, the astrology that is affecting us. So we want to be aware of what's going on this week on the 19th, Mercury changes directions and starts moving forward. Uh, Mars did change directions on the 13th and is currently in a forward motion finally, but he still has to get out of the shadow, which won't happen until March. So Mars is still giving us problems sticking us in the butt with a pitchfork, making us feel like our lives maybe have a little volcano action going on because we have to take action on things that we may have not taken action on before. So it's really going to kick us into gear and force us to solve any issues that have been showing up in our lives since last fall. So it's time for us to take that action and clear those problems out of the way. 
uh, volcano bonds, however, the uh, announcement for the volcano bonds couldn't have come at a better time because the, in fact, ultimate long-term result for El Salvador of these volcano bonds is likely to be explosive for El Salvador. So in a good way, but also very, very uh, dramatic because like I said, crypto has a lot of moves left in it. So for us, we can use this Mars Direct to take action and start solving those problems that we were seeing over the past six months, right? Because this is a long cycle, Mars retrograde and Mercury changing directions, of course, in Capricorn does give us that impetus, that I, that desire to go and have the hard conversation. Some of us might be wanting to kind of say some harsh things that we've been holding back on with um, Mercury turning direct in Capricorn. So, you know, be careful about how you speak to people. I mean, you know, you might find yourself in some interactions with people where hard things need to be said. It's one thing to just speak the truth. Um, it's another thing to do it, you know, do it as nicely as possible, right? So speaking out the hard truths this week is going to be beneficial. Um, those who are capable of listening to those hard truths are capable of making positive changes, especially in the routines, the day to day, the actions that you need to take for your health and for your daily life will be positive if we are speaking out and taking into account the valid, real, true facts of a situation. Speaking of facts, there was a story on the BBC in London about the Jabberwockies and how those may in fact be causing all kinds of health issues. So that was in the mainstream news. Of course, not in the US, but it was in London. So there are some facts coming to light that uh, people should be paying attention to. So these are facts and pay attention to the facts because the facts will change your day to day actions, your day to day behavior. I realize we've been in a couple of year period of time where facts didn't matter, but they will matter when it comes to your pocketbook, if you're not paying attention to them and also your health, your whole life. So please don't ignore the facts. They're helpful to you. So what else is going on this week? We have of course a new moon and I did this chart for the date of the new moon, which is the 21st and a lot is going on in the sixth house of this chart. So we have a lot of focus on health and daily habits and routines and the new moon will be in the sixth house right on the cusp of the seventh, kind of pushing us towards making new habits and new habits to take care of ourselves, but also that will impact our relationships and our one-on-one -on -one relationships with other people. So it's a new cycle, a brand new thing is starting uh, around relationships and around our habits in our food, our lifestyle, that sort of thing. Exercise, all of that fits into that sixth house, running around town, all of your little errands that you do. That's all sixth house stuff. Also your day-to-day -day work habits. So there can be some changes around that. And then, um, Venus is going to team up with Saturn this week, which, uh, is also in a square to Uranus creating a sudden and unexpected potentially bills, things that are due that we're not expecting some sudden bad news. Um, maybe a sense of unexpected hardship or burden around finances. So some people will be getting some difficult issues uh, this week around uh, their financial picture. I would say maybe this is, you know, this is the time of year when people look at what they have and start to think about what's working and what's not. So a lot of people are going to start to realize that they need to cut back in certain areas or sell certain things like maybe a property isn't making the money that one would expect. And I suggest to you that that's not going to continue to be the best revenue stream in the next coming months or years, uh, properties, although not all properties will be bad, but in general, it's not a good, uh, category. It's going to have a lot of trouble in these next, definitely in 2023. So, um, and also, so there's a lot, and also people are having issues with cars. So extra cars, things like that. There'll be a lot of people starting to realize they need to get rid of that extra thing that they uh, can't really sustain in current uh, financial situation, in the current financial climate. So what is also going on with Mars, which has, as I said, changed directions and is finally turning 
to ready to go forward and it will be making a trying to Pluto in the com coming weeks, which is going to be a major, major powerful change that we can take advantage of. So if you have things you're trying to renovate, change, review, renew, um, update, now's the time to do it. It's the time to get rid of those things that don't serve us, right? That are no longer profitable and to transform our focus towards those things that are profitable. So uh, that is the main focus for this week. Uh, just remember those volcano bonds, right? They are, uh, it's going to be a very big deal, even if you don't hear about it in all the crypto news. Just remember, sorry, <laughs> just remember 99.9999% of the YouTube influencers that you hear from are bought and paid for. That most of the crypto publications are in fact bought and paid for by big companies who own also exchanges and investment companies who are steering the information towards the place that benefits them, not you. So be aware of this and be aware that volcano bonds are going to have a huge impact on what is going on in the crypto market. Not everything's gonna to happen today, not everything's gonna happen this week, but overall, this whole thing is a big seismic shift in the crypto sphere when we see governments getting involved and backing their currency, backing their bonds with crypto, with Bitcoin. So this is a very big deal. Um, so I wish you all a safe, healthy and prosperous week and make sure you sign up and subscribe. Also, my members are getting a lot of upgrades this week. So if you've considered being a member, you should try and join soon because there are certain things that are going to go away in my membership that are still aware of, available right now. In other words, the type of VIP membership I have now is going to go away. So people who sign up now will be able to lock get locked in on my current, uh, VIP plan and I have upgrades coming to my members, some really cool things. So I'd like to just quickly explain to you how it works inside my members area so that you understand what I really offer and why it is different than anything else on the market. Literally nobody offers anything like this at all. And I will show you how and why. So this is when the volcano bonds were issued from El Salvador. This is a government announcing that they are going to back their bonds their government bonds with Bitcoin. So this is very bullish for crypto. And it's first of all, important to understand the macroeconomics that are influencing the market, right? So this is a very bullish thing for the crypto market for 2023. However, it's important to realize that 2023 also has some major bearish impact influences. So things that will pull the market down. So we're going to get both in 2023, big spikes and big crashes. So let me show you something else here. So this is when I released my Bitcoin forecast, right? It was December 31st. You can see where the arrow is. And then you can see this kind of pale salmon colored triangle. I have drawing the idea that the market was headed up and you can see that it did actually head up after that. This was on the 31st, right? So the point here that I'm trying to make is that principles are better than strategies. It's better to understand the principles behind the market so that you know when to get in to buy on the lows and when to get out or short the market on the peaks. This is greater than a strategy. However, strategies of course have a place and this is the strategy that I took on uh, the 14th of December, which is to short Bitcoin. Strategies are better than tactics or, or tools. Now, tactics and tools are essentially everything that everyone else is selling in the crypto marketplace. So tactics and tools are like, buy my trading system. I will teach you the best trading system that ever existed. Or go to TradingView and sign up for a membership there pay 70, 80 bucks a month in order to do all this charting layouts with all these chart, you know, drawings all over them. There's a place for this, but that is the smallest part of it. Principles are more important than 
strategies. Strategies are more important than those tactics and tools. Everybody in the world of crypto is selling you on a tactic and a tool. In the gold rush in the 1800s in the United States, everyone wanted to go mine for gold. And there was, everyone had dollar signs in their eyes and they ran out to try and make a fortune digging for gold in those hills. Do you know who made the most money during the gold rush? Was it the gold prospectors? Sure, one of, or two of them got rich, but it was the people who sold the shovels. It was the people who were selling the tools and the tactics. In the crypto marketplace, it is the people who are selling you on their trading system, okay? They're the ones that are getting rich, but can you really implement it? I would say no, not without a principle governing your, strat your trading strategy, and then, of course, a strategy for the market. That has to come first. Strategies are better than tactics and tools. Here's another screenshot to show you why strategies are better than tactics and tools. The Volcano Bonds announcement came out at a time when it could because the astrology made it possible because we'd been in a positive window of time. It could not have happened during a downswing. That announcement could not have happened during the, uh, the time when the Bitcoin short was opened on December 14th. That could not have happened, right? It would not have been possible for the, for the announcement to be made at that time because the astrology would not have allowed it to come out. So we were able to short the market knowing with confidence that nothing amazingly good would come out at that time. But good things, good news can come out when we're having positive astrology windows. And here's what happened after the volcano bonds were announced. We went up. We got a really good spike on Bitcoin. And if you were watching it, that candle went up before your very eyes during the day after the volcano bonds were announced. This again was possible because the astrology said that it was possible, right? It could not have happened on December 14th. It just couldn't. It wouldn't have pushed the market up. It wouldn't have worked. So this is what I provide for my members. My timing report comes out the previous month. Now these projections can change based on what the market is doing. My forecasts are not set in stone because the market is governed by free will, just like everything else in life. So nothing is predetermined, but certain windows of time give us the opportunity for the market to go up and opportunities for the markets to go down. I do have tactics and tools inside my membership area now. So if you need shovels, we've got your shovels. It's part of the membership, right? So what I really provide you is the overview, right? I provide you the principles governing the market and then the strategies for making the most of the market. The trading system that you want to use is up to you. I mean, it's important to understand that stuff, but it is the smallest piece of the equation. As an investor, you want to succeed in crypto, you need to understand the principles and have workable strategies that you take action on. And that's what I provide. And I don't know anyone else who does. So if you want to check it out, go click on the link below, click on the link in the description box, go and get your free tip and go to my website, aurawrite.media and take a look at my memberships. Go there. There's a video explaining it on the first page or write.media and you will see what I am talking about. So stay tuned and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.